Have you heard of the exercise of teaching your puppy to um, not guard uh, by going up to a bowl and taking it away when they're yeah. eating? Um, so has everyone heard of that? Yeah. 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 Please, please, please. Like treats into yeah, but I'm also told yeah. to sleep in my dog's bed. Okay, so people, like, there's things like we have to sleep <laughs> in their bed um, to make sure that they learn that we can go in their bed. Or when they're eating, we take their bowl away so they learn that we can always take their bowl away. Now, what's wrong with that philosophy or that thought? What do you think, well, what do you think they're going to learn? If you're eating your dinner... And so I give you a Mars bar, and then as you're eating it, I take it back off you. You've got to learn. To what are you going to learn? Your dinner. Exactly. A lot of the time, that traditional training of is being misinterpreted. What people actually mean is we want our dogs to enjoy us being around their bowl, so they have no reason to guard it. But us going up to the bowl while they're eating it's and really taking the food the away is actually reinforcing and saying, actually, I'm just going to take your food away. So whenever someone comes near your bowl, you have to be tense. So how do you think we teach them to enjoy people coming up to the bowl? Put water in it. Exactly. So what we do is instead of taking the bowl away, we say whenever people approach, we add stuff to it. We add really nice things. And often what I do with my dogs is I save the best treats, the 50 pound notes. I save, um, what well, each each treat. Um, I save my 50 pound notes for this type of training. So if my dog loves chicken or a little bit of turkey or sandwich meat, then often I'll save that. I'll put the bowl down. And I won't put all the food in the bowl, and um, as they're eating, I'll walk past them and just drop a treat in, and then walk away. And they start thinking, come back, I want you to come back and add some more in. Whereas if you stand there and start keep adding things in, they might get a bit irritated that you're interrupting them while they're eating. So the best thing to do is walk past, toss a treat in, and then walk away. And make them think, I want that person to come back. And then what I do is as I approach the bowl, the dog actually sits, they back away, they stop eating, they go... Um, are you going to give me a treat? Please give me a treat. And I said, if you want the treat, I'm going to have to touch the bowl. So now I lower my body down, touch the bowl, and then give them a treat. And then, eventually, I walk past the bowl, and the dog stops and sits and goes, please lift my bowl up, please take my bowl, please take my bowl. So now my dog wants me to take their bowl, so they get something nice. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, so you don't teach your dog that um, to be comfortable with people being around the bowl by taking it away. All that teaches the dog is to be a lot more protective. And if we're working with a wild animal, you wouldn't take a lion's feet away to teach them that you're the boss because you'll get eaten. No reason to do it with your dogs either. Um, just teach your dog that while they're eating, good is coming from you. So they look forward to you going near them. The same thing with toys and bones. If your puppy's got a chew um, or they've got a toy, walk towards them, toss them a treat and walk away. Don't show any interest in their toy. And eventually they'll beg you to take the toy because every time you go near them and they've got a toy, um, they, they get a treat. And my dogs actually started bringing the toy to me. So when they used to have a toy in their mouth, I used to throw a toy, and every time they pick the tennis ball up, I'd toss a treat to them. And what started happening is they're going, hello, look, I've got a tennis ball in my mouth, and I wouldn't give them a treat. And to get my attention, they'd bring it towards me and try and put it in my lap. And I taught my dogs to retrieve that way. So the dog learns, actually, if I get your attention with a toy and bring it to you, I get lots of good stuff. Does that make sense? And that's why I said, don't feed your dog from a food bowl. You can use their food in training throughout life. <coughs>